Hey everybody and welcome again to a complete denture journey. For the New York City College of Technology Department of Restorative Dentistry Complete Dentures 1 course, this is instructional video 5 of the set and it's about beating and boxing and pouring in the dental laboratory. Let's begin. We begin with beating the final impressions. You may use utility wax along the borders of the final impression. It should be placed about 3 millimeters from the edge of the flanges of the final impression. Beating a final impression can look a lot easier than it actually is. To facilitate the process, it's a good idea to seal the utility wax around the borders with a hot spatula. Sealing the utility wax as you rope it around the impression aids in keeping it in place as you position it. Once the utility wax is fully wrapped around the borders of the final impression, be sure to seal the two ends of the utility wax together. When beating a mandibular final impression, it's a good idea to compensate for the tongue space. By adding base plate wax to the tongue space, it facilitates the beating process and creates a tongue space land area on the cast. As you see, the piece of base plate wax that has been cut is applied to the tongue space and sealed. Once it's sealed firmly, the utility wax can be roped along its edge. This is much easier than trying to adapt the utility wax along the tongue space. Once beating the final impressions is complete, we can now move to boxing the final impressions. In order to do so, build a sidewall around the circumference of the beading to provide an enclosure or a box into which artificial stone can be poured. Boxing wax is made specifically for this task. It is easily manipulated, especially under heat. Once the boxing wax has been placed around the beading wax, make the sidewall of the boxing wax cut wide enough to extend 15 millimeters, 5 eighths of an inch, above the highest point of the impression. Making sure that the boxing wax is tall enough ensures that the model has a proper thickness of base. Once beading and boxing of the final impressions is complete, you can then test for leaks. We do this with a water test. Put water into the assembly and check if there's any leaks from the bottom where the wax should be sealed. If there are leaks, it means that stone will leak through. Seal those areas and try again. Once everything has been tested and sealed, we can then begin pouring the final impressions. Once the final impressions are poured, wait until they are completely set and remove the boxing and beading wax. Once they are completely set, you can retrieve the models from the impressions. Take caution during the retrieval process. Wedge the impression off carefully. Quick removal from a single direction may cause damage to the model and important anatomical landmarks. Once the models have been retrieved safely, they can be taken to the model trimmer and trimmed and ready for the next step in the denture fabrication process.